Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. Oh. oh, good. We'll just be leaving, then. To go somewhere that isn't the gallows. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The Knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. You're saying there are others missing? I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmer and Karen were the most recent. Hmm. Why do you have to keep this quiet? Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. No. No Templars in this family. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. Hmm. Well, they've come this far. You're already defying orders to talk to me. Might as well share the good stuff. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If oh. you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Her own people? Hmm. That's horrible. Seems to me a weak Templar would die just as quickly. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. Hmm. Uh, tell me about the initiation. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do what must be done. And trust they alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. All right. Is there anything else I should know? Can you tell me anything else? Wilmud told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmud. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. All right. There you are. Hello. For hours, Ada hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the wench we're looking for. Oh. Got her. Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh. Yeah. We made it. Hader sent them. Search the bodies. I need to find out where he is. Hmm. Oh. There's a letter here. Hiding in the chantry and sending thugs to finish me off. Coward. He'll not get away with this. Come on. Oh. All right. Isabella. Should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head, and you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Um, what, what is he talking about? Will someone explain what's going on? Isabella's been a very bad girl. Ruined a perfect business deal, and then ran away. Right. She didn't tell you. I told her enough. I said I arranged for a duel, which I did. I also said you wouldn't play fair, which you didn't. We can talk later if you want. Right now we have other problems. 
Alright. Well, it sounds to me this Castion fella needs to cheer up a bit. Castion isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. There's only one way to settle this. Yes, uh... Oh! Uh, um... Oh! That's exactly what I was going to say. So it ends. First, ask questions later. Trust me, it's better this way. Castion uh -huh. won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. Simple as that. Right. Uh, who's Castion? Who is Castion? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. The jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He uh -huh. did well. I'm sure he did. And what is this human cargo that Hader mentioned? What's this about you freeing slaves? I was asked to escort Castillon's cargo ship. I got a bad feeling about the job partway through. Boarded the ship to find slaves. Nearly 200. Elves, humans... Children, even. It was sickening. They paid Castion to take them away from the Blight. He took their money and sold them into slavery. Even I can see that's wrong. Hmm. So, you were shipwrecked, then? Did you end up in Kirkwall because your ship was destroyed? There was a storm. The ship ran aground on the reefs near the city. I managed to make it to shore. Most of my men weren't as lucky. Poor sods. I knew some of those men almost ten years. Ah, oh, balls. So why the relic? What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castion has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. <sighs> to be honest, I think he just wants me dead. But that would be letting me off easy. Didn't this, uh... What was his name again? Lucky? Didn't he try to find the relic? You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic. That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. Right. Well, um... I can offer you my help if you want it. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. Sure. I think I'll tag along for a while. Oh? There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. And trust they be my witness, Wilmot. Oh. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy! Were it that easy? Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! What's going on here? Torturing and recruits, are we? I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Nice to see you're branching out. It's the Night Captain. Don't! This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> You have struck me the last time, you pathetic human! Oh. To me! Um... Oh? Oh. Make her preserve us! Huh. That's different. Yeah! Oh, 
Attack, attack! Oh, oh no. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this. Is it even possible? Well, what was that? Was he an abomination? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. Hmm. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. Well, I've seen one demon, I've seen them all. With what I've bumped into in Kirkwall, nothing surprises me anymore. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Hmm. So there's no ritual? The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. Right. So why did you... Why were you attacking Wilmot? If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. Mm. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. I see. So, what do you think happened? Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the Circle. Well, surely that's not true. Not all mages are bad, are they? I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw oh. firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Right. Well, let's go hunt some demons. Where there's one demon, there's usually more. Where do we start digging? I fear it is time to widen this investigation. My discretion may have cost me one of our best recruits, Wilmot's friend Karen. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. The brothel, eh? I'd be willing to search there. The order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. Do you need something, honey? Greetings. Uh, do you know anyone named Wilmot? Karen, perhaps? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. Uh, it's a Templar investigation. The Templars are the ones who want this information. We make a lot of our money off of nervous Templars that expect some privacy. Right. I'll be discreet. Let me look through the books. Wilmot, Karen... Here we go. Wilmot came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw Iduna, the exotic wonder from the east. The exotic wonder? <laughs> That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Darktown. You mm. should hear what some of the others are called. Uh... No, it's alright. I have what I need. Thank you for your help. Sure thing. And listen, you oh. didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? The usual? Sure. You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember 
entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago. Or Karen. Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. <sighs> Drop the axe, sweetheart. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. Wh uh, wh whatever do you mean? I think you know. <sighs> Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. You should listen uh, to your friend. You really are persistent. As charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Answer one of my questions first. Who oh. told you about little old me? I... I'm the one asking the questions. It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just uh, do one more thing for me. Yes? Draw your blade. Uh huh. And bring it gently across your throat. <laughs> Bethany, stop her. Let go of my sister. <sighs> How did you? Oh, shit. Spare me, Monsieur. How did you do that? What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from elsewhere. From the east? Magic, then. Or from Please, the north? Sister. Please don't kill me. You had your chance. No mercy for you. You're just too dangerous. You have to die. No. No. <clears throat> Maybe we can find answers somewhere around here. And then a cold shower. Indeed. Oh, what's this? It appears our new friends make their home in the Undercity. Shall we pay them a visit? Hello? Everyone stay still. Oh. Well, isn't this a warm welcome? No. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Take that. Um. Hello? Oh. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. These mages always fall to the first demon's promise. I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Uh-huh. And what are you doing here? Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar. Any noble. Any well-meaning meddler. Well, I must warn you, I am no easy prey. You do know I cut a path through your abominations, right? Good, good. The demons like spirit. Oh. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Where are you, recruits? Tell me where Karen is. 
The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap. So it's not a complete waste. Your plan is insane, woman. Good to know you're barking mad. That makes things easier. In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. Kill the vessels only if you must. Well, I'm afraid that you must. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Wakey, wakey. No more of that. Oh. Careful, sister. There we are. Mother, the lights. Um. Hello? Oh. Is it... Is it over? Karen. Yes. That's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. <sighs> Do you think he is possessed, Bethany? Bethany. Can you tell if there's a demon in him? Sorry. As it happens, I've tried to avoid learning much about demons. That kind of knowledge is frowned on in an apostate. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, uh... You can leave. Go ahead and leave, Karen. You've been through enough. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please. I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. Be careful when you tell Sir Colin about this. If it's not handled correctly, innocent mages may suffer for Tarane's crimes. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. I've got some good news and some bad news. What? What is it? Good news. Karen is safe. Bad news, half of your recruits may have been possessed by demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. De demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Well, just remember that not all mages are like that. Tirane was crazy. Magic didn't make her that way. True, not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. True. Any time, any mage could become a monster, from the uh, lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Maybe we shouldn't be arguing with the nice Templar. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. But there has to be a better way uh, to do this. I admit that does reduce their bargaining position. But there must be some middle ground. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. Oh. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He deserves mercy. What happened wasn't his fault. He is not to blame. But tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. 
I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. <sighs> um... Well... I mean, you're looking at me, I suppose you're asking for my opinion. Let him keep his status. Karen did nothing wrong. You can't strip his livelihood on the off chance Tirani succeeded. Please, Knight Captain. I'll prove I'm loyal. Ask me anything. My brother's a good man, sir. He would never succumb to a demon. Perhaps it is best to keep our enemies close. We can watch him far better here than in the city. So be it. Right. Sure. No sign of demonic possession in ten years' time. Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. Oh. You have done the order a great service. We will not forget it. Hmm. Maker. I think he's ignoring me now. Hey! Is my coin not good enough for you? Oh, Hawk. Thanks oh. for helping me with that little problem I had. Are you going to buy me a drink to celebrate our victory? You drink the swill here. It's an acquired taste. Uh huh. Before I forget, are oh. you still looking for work? Because I have a friend who needs some help. A friend, eh? Is this a friend or a friend? I never let him steer my ship, if that's what you're asking. From what right. I hear, he doesn't have good control of his rudder. His oh. name is Martin. He has a room right here in the Hanged Man. Tell him I sent you. Now, you going to leave me to my drinking or what? Uh, so he comes down. All right. So you found me. Uh, going to finish Martin off properly this time, are you? Where's my property, eh? How does it feel making a profit off someone else's hard work? Um, good. Not speaking from personal experience, but I'm sure it feels great not to have to work to earn your keep. You bastards. Well, I'm not going down without a fight. Hey, whoa. I'm not who you think I am, and I'm certainly not here to kill you. You're not trying to kill me? Huh. Makes sense. If you were, you wouldn't be talking. This right. could turn out well for both of us. If you're not here to end me, maybe you could help me instead. I need someone to help me find out where the raiders have hidden my stolen cargo. This job's as easy as a peg-legged tavern wench. And there's good coin in it to boot. I see. And what's the cargo? Why would the raiders want your cargo? Is it valuable? How should I know why they want it? It's just spices and herbs. Nothing special. Spices and herbs, eh? I'm sure. I'm sure. And you're saying that you were a raider of sorts? You have a history with the raiders, don't you? Yes. I was a raider. Back then it was just smuggling and petty thievery. It's mm. changed since that madman Ianto took power around here. Extortion, murder, kidnapping. He does it all. I see. It's just not to my taste. I tried to get out, but he didn't like that. This scar on my neck, he gave it to me. Slit my throat and threw me overboard. I tried to start a new life away from this bullshit. And he has his men chase me down and steal my cargo. Starting over is a noble goal. I'm sure we can help you. Hmm. And how'd you lose the cargo? What did the raiders do to you? They closed in on my ship and forced her into the cliffs. My crew and I barely made it out alive. They must have salvaged the cargo when it washed us all. Hmm. Can't you just do this yourself? It's your cargo. You look for it. Those raiders are still looking for me. I'm not going to draw their attention. You mentioned 
Raiders. Are the Raiders a big problem around here? There are always raiders on the seas, just like there are always bandits on the roads. Uh -huh. But they've been much more active of late, like vultures taking advantage of the blight. <sighs> All right, Martin, I'll help you. I'll take care of it. You'll need to look around the docks. The crates bear the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority, so you'll know it when you see it. Oh, well, I know. You're assuming I know what an Orlesian Port Authority seal looks like. <laughs> it's fancy. Just like everything Orlesian. I've had it with the Raiders, and this cargo is the key to me getting on the straight and narrow. You're doing me a huge favor here, friend. Thank you, and be careful. Farewell. I'm looking for some cargo. You're in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. Oh, how unique. A laborer with a smart mouth. You hardly ever see those. What do you want? I'm looking for crates sealed by the Orlesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Hey, if you're done wagging your tongue, can we get those sacks off the docks? Right, come in. Shipping manifest. Not today, my friend. I think I lost it. Well, then you can't bring your goods in. Viscount's rules, not mine. Oh. Well, those are good rules. You should take credit for those rules. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. Right. I'm the Harbour Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a Legion cargo. Oh, yes. Crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. Hmm. It is funny how that works, isn't it? I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. I see. Alright. Would this possibly help? Is this enough to help you remember? Ah, it's coming back to me. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse. By the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. Uh-huh. This is private property. Um... There's been a fire. There's a fire on the other side of this row. Get help before it spreads. What? Don't you hear the screaming? Are you deaf? I don't hear anything. Shit. A fire could destroy the loot. We have to check. But... Come on! Not bad, Hawk. Not bad at all. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. What's going on here, gentlemen? What is the meaning of this? Ha! Yeah. Take that. All right. There we are. Ugh. This is some potent stuff. You could wipe out all of Hightown with just one vial. Hmm. What's that all about? Guess what I found. Crates filled with enough poison to assassinate every noble in Orlais, and then some. I knew I should have told you not to look in the crates. Look, there's nothing shady going on here. Oh? I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? In Woodrow's warehouse. Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place. I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. Hmm.